All right, my friend, welcome. My name is Dr. Anthony Balduzzi. I'm the founder here at the Fit Father Project. In today's video, we're gonna cover how to do a sumo deadlift properly. We're gonna go over um, all the key form points, the setup, some things you should be thinking about in terms of cues, so you can get the most out of this amazing whole body exercise. And we're also gonna compare this to a conventional deadlift and why you might wanna choose one over the other in your training program. I know you're gonna learn a ton. Get out your pen and paper, take some notes, and let's dive on in. FitFatherProject.com. All right, so the sumo deadlift, much like the sumo squat, essentially means that we're gonna be taking a wide stance with the bar, as opposed to what a conventional deadlift might look like, where your stance is a lot more narrow and you're setting up here. A sumo deadlift setup is gonna be much wider, hips are gonna be more open, and we're gonna be here. Now, what are the differences before we get into the form points? Well, the first thing is the sumo deadlift, by its very nature, is a shorter pull. Because I'm getting really wide here, so when I grip the bar, I only need to pull right up to here. As opposed to if I'm conventional, I have to pull from here all the way up to here. So there's a shorter pull, which means you may be able to use more weight. Additionally, with the sumo deadlift, um, it's a little more quad dominant, and certainly your glutes and your posterior chain are certainly activated, but it's a little more quad dominant because we're gonna, the quads are gonna be bent a little bit more. So it almost simulates a little more of a squat motion than a hip hinge motion with a conventional deadlift where the hips are and the hammies are doing a lot of the work. Quads are involved, and it's a little easier on your low back. So both are valuable. You wanna do both. So to set up on the sumo deadlift, the first thing you wanna do is get your bar nice set up in a line. We're gonna address our hips nice, wide, and open. So my hips are open, I'd say maybe about to 25, 30 degrees on each side, and I'm taking as wide of a stance as I'm comfortable with. People who are very flexible can almost get all the way wide out here, but I'm making sure that the bar touches my chins just like this with this wide open hip stance. If you find that you can't get your hips wide and open, it'd be a good idea to do some foam rolling and stretching on your glutes. Next thing we're gonna address the bar. So I'm gonna come down here just like this and grab the bar. Maybe even you can play around with hand placement, but typically where the ridging on the bar starts is where you're gonna wanna um, grab right around here. And now the next move is I'm gonna get my chest up and sit back. Now watch this from the side, it's very subtle. See I'm hunched over right here, the first move of the sumo deadlift, is right to here. So the bar is almost already coming off the ground just by me leaning back, getting my chest up and high. Deep breath, pull, squeeze at the top, come right on down slow. Again, pulling up, glutes, right on down through. Now, a couple things. Watch one more. All the way down through. So. A key with the sumo dead is to create as little space as possible between the bar and your hips. You actually want that bar to be dragging up your body the entire time. So literally the bar as I'm deadlifting is starting on my shins and as I shift back, it's on my shins, pulling through my shins. At this point, I focus on getting my glutes through, fire right to here, then slowly control it on the way down. Up, fire, right on down through. Bar stays tight the entire time. You may find if you watch people do deadlifts, really good deadlifters, they may have some shin guards or some kind of pant. That's because the bar is supposed to be dragging up your legs the entire time. So in terms of sets and reps of the sumo deadlift, this is a primary moving compound motion. So um, that's basically a good way to say, put this in the beginning of your workout. Go heavy on this. Use anywhere in like, let's say a, a three, a five, eight, 10 rep range, you know, very variable. That's really depending on your programming, but a good place to start might be doing a classic five by five on these sumo deadlifts. Put them in the beginning of your workout, your legs, your glutes, your back, your core, everything's gonna get a great workout from this. Now, these sumo deadlifts pair really well um, with other back dominant exercises. So um, you could do, you could pair these because they're a little easier on your low back with things like good mornings. You could even pair them with a stiff-legged deadlift because you can go lighter on the stiff-legged deadlift. The point being, I would personally put the sumo dead on my leg workout day as opposed to my back workout day because although your back and your lats are involved, it's really more of a leg dominant motion because you're getting down into the sumo squat stance. So I'd say, shoot for when you're starting to get better at the sumo deadlift, you should probably train at least twice per week because there's some motor unit and motor learning that needs to occur in your body. So train it maybe on Monday, train it again on Friday. And you can do varied rep ranges. So maybe on Monday it's a five by five, and on Friday you can do a little bit lighter and work on your form and your speed and your technique of really making sure the bar's tight and your hips are coming on through on the deadlift. So maybe three by 
10 to 12 reps of more speed sumo deadlifts would be a great idea later in the week. Um, that is my recommendation. Put it on a leg day. And again, you can pair this with things that are a little harder on your lower back. Things like a good morning, things like a glute ham raise. Sumo deadlift pairs really well with that. So hope you found this valuable. If you like this and you're going to love all other videos around our channel, you can check out some more links in the description for some cool freebies. And definitely hit subscribe and give us a thumbs up if you like this. We have over 500 different videos on exercise tutorials, how to build muscle, how to lose fat. I Especially if you're a busy father, we are the Fit Father Project. This is what we do. Thank you for stopping by, my friend. I'll see you around the channel, and I'll talk to you very soon.